Yeah, I put down here and I made sure to the site must be panda proof. And I bolded it and made it bigger. Um, so that's just focusing on our quality thing. But here is what goes on with um, social media research. Social media. Um, so this is what we kind of figured out. So offsite SEO counts for 50% of all of SEO, Google optimization. And then this is a backlink kind of um, graph of how much each one it matters to offsite CEO. Um, and if you look here, this little green right here is social metrics. So that's like Facebook, um, LinkedIn. And then if you go over here, it's 7.24% um, of offsite SEO. So if you want to look at it, it needs 50% of Google optimization, so 0.5 times the 7 point, so 0, 7, 2, 4. Mm -hmm. um, you get 3%. Social media will count for 3% of SEO. Mm -hmm. But it's not creating our account, but it's like... Constantly updating. Yeah, con this is social media marketing. Uh, we have to focus on social media accounts, not getting more followers because it will help much with content distribution and offsite SEO as she explained. Thanks to offsite SEO and content distribution because we create content on the blog site but we don't have a distribution channels. So maybe for the just sharing content, we might need social media accounts. But um, I found that getting more followers doesn't affect a lot to raise the conversion rate of Facebook advertisement. So the fact that get more followers doesn't mean the high reach rate and engagement. So followers doesn't relate it to no, it's hard to reach rate. Um, I mean the more followers doesn't influence to reach rate. Followers and reach rate is Independent? Independent. Uh, which rate? Which rate? Yeah, yeah which rate is important? Uh, uh -huh. What does it mean, uh, engagement? Engagement means clicks or sharing that people look to uh, look our, when people look our content, it is uh, calculated by engagement rate. I, uh, um, mm. I, I scan. Uh, some articles mm -hmm. and uh, so engagement is important mm -hmm. in uh, SNS so yeah. I want to be sure that the definition of engagement mm -hmm. engagement is source. clicking and like stopping okay I remember just much with raising conversion rate what is the rate of Facebook advertising? Why? I because can we can do ad targeting for people who engage to our post. So if people um, click on our content or post, we can retarget them. Mm. Mm. So they already show the interest on our product, so we can retarget them in Facebook ad. So it's all rela related. Mm. And it, it, so for that reason, because we are going to focus on advertisement and Facebook because we can we can distribute content with the channels and it will affect offsite SEO. I think it's like it will help people come to our website is what she means. Like it'll help people it will reach a bigger audience. Like people will see the website. Mm -hmm. It's because I, I, I have explained about it like we publish content on the blog and we cannot reach to many people with just a blog SEO. Oh, uh, you mean... So um, to distribute our content, we need to make a social media account and post. Yeah, so like it will be on a different website, which is like Twitter, Facebook or something, mm -hmm. LinkedIn, which is more popular. And then 
they will click there, come back to our website, and it will increase our off-site SEO because it might actually increase our on-site SEO. So getting more followers was meaningful in the past, but it has changed because Facebook is um, lowering the reach rate, organic reach rate, more and more because they want others do advertisement on their platform. So they're reducing the relationship between followers and the reach rate. So the quality of content and the most important thing is advertising that content is needed in Facebook. The area of high reach rate is composed like that. Number of direct page visitors, search engine visitors, newsfeed of liked fans, and shared view, like comment view, and tab view. So it will define the reach rate. And um, she was thinking just doing Facebook and LinkedIn right now. Mm -hmm. And then. She means Jim? Sorry. No, sorry. Sorry? Uh, yeah. Ah, okay. ah. And then. Um, so she did some research into. Um, LinkedIn, LinkedIn, mm. here and like how B two B. This is like the place to go for B two B companies is LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter apparently for some reason. Yeah. But we're not gonna do Twitter. Um, she's gonna focus on LinkedIn, LinkedIn Facebook. and Facebook mostly mm. right now. Why? So that's kind of the end of our presentation. Mm. When looking at this. For the blog, all of these rows are already done, uh, like 98% on SEO. These three rows down here, well, mostly just these two rows, are something that we wouldn't be able to get um, easily. 3% wise, we would have, I could get probably engagement up to like 100% and maybe um history and intent but authority value reputation mm -hmm. anchors um, backlinks probably um i wouldn't be able to do those by myself i don't think i mean i could do some networking but it's going to take a while yeah i feel uh, we have to generate high quality articles mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's we can do only we can do <laughs> but just a minute i uh, I, do that, I, I, I scan uh, an article mm -hmm. that said i said his follower number is controversial for seo it controversial? is it's controversial uh, yeah. that means because Google has officially said that it doesn't affect, mm -hmm. um, but in research, like in trials, mm -hmm. um, people have seen that people with more followers on social media rank higher in SEO, but that might also just be because they have more engagements. Yeah.